today. Oops, okay. So um, <laughs> the, focus, the focus today is going to be the profiler, which is the most important part of Renzulli Learning because without a profile, a student can't even use Renzulli Learning. Um, everything is centered around the student's interest, their learning styles, and their expression styles. So Renzulli Learning is a product from a school-wide enrichment model, Dr. Joseph Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese. And we are going to focus on type ones today. Type ones constantly introducing your students to new um, to new topics, to new areas, to new to new um, expression styles, et cetera. Um, the wonderful thing about Renzulli Learning is is that the students at their fingertips constantly have the availability of type ones. So I'm going to show you some um, excellent ways that students can do some investigative work on their own. I'm going to show you some ways that you as the teacher can send the students um, some type ones, virtual field trips, um, the American Museum of, um, of History. Uh, we, they have just updated their site and it is amazing. I just found today that they have a contest um, and I thought, oh, that would be great for our Renzulli kids, but it is it ends on Monday. So I've sent a letter to them to let us know uh, when the contest will, um, will continue. All right, so um, I am at a, the teacher site. I'm logged into Renzulli Learning and every teacher has a student site. So if you would like to take your profile, you can do that as well um, to have that student experience to see what it's like to answer the questions on the survey. And to get to your student site, you just need to find your name in the upper right hand corner. It's in a white box and there is a drop down menu. And one of the options in that drop down menu is go to student site. And when I do that, it will bring me to my student site. <clears throat> now, if you haven't taken your profile, your homepage, student homepage, isn't going to look like mine. This is a homepage of a student that has finished their profile. So let's talk first a little bit about the profile and how very valuable it is um, for the students. The profile answers a series of questions that are centered around the student's interest. What are they interested in? Math, science, music, art, technology. How are their abilities? How well do they understand math and science, social studies and language arts? And what are their expression styles? They have gathered all of this information from their type ones and their type twos. And how are they going to express themselves to display all of the knowledge that they collected um, during the process of their investigative work? Are they artistic? Are they musical? Do they like to use technology? Do they like to speak orally? How do they like to express themselves? And then one of the, a really important piece is their learning styles. How do they learn best? We look at that as well, because some students are hands-on, some students like to work with a partner, some students like to work in a group, some kids are independent. And all of this centers around school-wide enrichment model. And all of these questions used to be answered, uh, asked and answered by pencil and paper back when Joe and Sally first created school-wide enrichment model. But thanks to technology, there's now a way to streamline uh, SEM for, for teachers and students in school communities. So um, I'm just going to show you the formats of the profile. This profile that you're looking at with the happy faces are, is default for kindergarten through fourth grade. So students that are in kindergarten <laughs> through fourth grade, this is the format that they will receive. And then students that are in fifth grade to 12th grade, 
This is the format. It's called the standard and the, it's available in the following languages. So if students choose a language, the questions as well as, excuse me, as well as the finished profile will be in the language that they choose. So if I choose Italian and I click switch my profiler, notice that um, the questions are in Italian. And then when I have finished my profile, notice that my profile is also in Italian. And I can always change the language as the student. The profile takes about um, 20 to 30 minutes depending on um, the student and the format of the profile. The student does not have to take it all in one sitting. If a student needs to leave the um, computer, it's absolutely fine. Renzulli will remember where they left off um, and it will uh, pick up right on the page that they left off. So I'm going to stop now and ask if there's any questions or if um, uh, you need some translation um, <laughs> or what I just went over. Buonasera a tutti. Eh, <coughs> la chat vi ho fatto in simultanea un po' di traduzione. Eh, però la, la professoressa Tony, che ringraziamo. Tony, thank you very much. Se avete delle domande potete farle in italiano in questo momento e io le traduco. Se volete farle direttamente in inglese, meglio. All right. Anything okay. else? Or any okay, other ciao. questions? Ok, ciao Martina. Io sono Elisabetta. Eh, sì. Per me è la, la prima volta che sento parlare appunto del Renzul System of Learning eh, e quindi sono piena di eh, curiosità per conoscere questo sistema in quanto ho in classe eh, un bambino eh, certificato eh, nel, come profilo gifted eh, mm. E niente, riconosco che la maggior parte delle cose eh, dette dalla professoressa, io capisco eh, l'inglese ma non lo so parlare eh, altrettanto fluentemente, eh, però effettivamente riconosco eh, tutta la fenomenologia eh, mi è presente. Ok. Thank you, grazie Elisabetta. So, Elisabetta... Um told that he's her first time that uh, learned that heard about Rensuli learning system. So thank you, Tony. And she is very, really curious to know about it. And uh, because she has a gifted child in her classroom, so she is really happy to be here. Oh, awesome. Awesome. That's wonderful. Well, and again, she, she understands English, so that's okay. Okay, that's good. that's great too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what the finished profile looks like. It tells the student. I love how it begins. It tells the student that they have special talents and abilities in school. And don't we all have special talents and abilities? Um, this profile, which is mine, my main interest is technology, athletics, and history and social studies. My preferred learning styles are learning games. This is particularly true with math. I am not the best mathematician. Um, I like discussion and I also enjoy technology. As you can see, technology is all through my profile. It's even in my expression styles. So um, in that profile probably wouldn't be that way 20 years ago, right? But now my whole life centers around Renzulli learning. Um, and I've even 
develop my learning style being technology because it used to be that I couldn't use when I couldn't use the computer to learn. I would have to touch it, hold it, feel it. And now it's just the opposite. I've used, uh, now I like to search. I like to do my investigative work um, through the search engine of Renzulli Learning or Google. So it's amazing how Renzulli has really transformed not only the way I learn, but what I'm interested in and how I express myself. All right, so the next thing that happens after the student has finished their profile, Renzulli Learning creates enrichment activities that match their profile. So everything in this area, the first, the top tier is sorted by genres and the bottom tier is sorted by subject area. Every one of these activities, 275 virtual field trips, they match my, um, they match my profile and they are all potential type ones. They're differentiated and that differentiation is going to lead me to be more engaged, more in depth enrichment because it's centered around how I learn and what I'm interested in and how I like to express myself. So I'm just gonna go into um, virtual field trips and notice that the highest rated uh, activities come to the top. And I tell kids what a great way to present, be presented with new material that you know other students have enjoyed enjoyed it so much that they took the time to rate the activity. And I tell kids that's very important to rate. Um, when I shop, especially on Amazon, I always look for the product with the most stars, right? And I look for reviews that are positive. Um, so that is a key feature. And not only that, our curators, the people that add new material to Renzulli Learning, they look at what students are rating and what they like. So the students have a voice in what Renzulli Learning will look like in the future. So um, here is um, uh, the Statue of Liberty. How cool is this? If a student has never been to the Statue of Liberty, this is a great type one for them. They are able to, um, to explore. It gives up in the um, corner, um, it gives a description of where they are and what they're looking at. There's even a map. They can go to Ellis Island. Um, great story, my grandkids, um, they come over every, we have Wednesday, Nona, and then we have sleepovers. And we talk about family. Um, in uh, when we have our sleepovers. And one of the stories um, I like to tell the, or the stories is family, family history. And one of the stories was that my dad, um, he came to America from Italy um, through Ellis Island when he was a little boy, um, him and his sister and his baby brother and my grandmother and my grandfather. And we talked about Ellis Island and what that must have felt like leaving their country. Um, and this was in the early 1900s. Um, and so they remembered that. So when they got on Renzulli Learning, they found the tour of the, the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. And it was so cool because it went from a type one to a type two to a type three. Because after they visited, they listened to my story they found this website on Renzulli Learning. They started investigating and collecting more data on immigration in Italy and all of these wonderful, um, all of these wonderful attributes. And it even progressed to a type three where they created a monologue um, on TikTok and each one of them dressed as, up as a migrant um, are an immigrant and it, they were standing, the Statue of Liberty was behind them and then they gave a monologue on how they felt to see the, the Statue of Liberty and touch the ground 
um, of the United States. So that's the type of learning that always goes on with Renzulli learning. It starts with them finding something that they make a connection to, and then they take off, they do investigative work. Um, and then sometimes it even results in a product. And all of these, this is another great type one. Um, I use this with my grandson, he's in a gifted class. And I taught, uh, I worked with them last week and their theme this year is travel. And on Renzulli Learning, I found this Airbus um, that the students can watch. They, it's interactive. And they went nuts over this. And naturally it turned into many of the students doing more investigative work, which are type twos. Im Namen von Kapitän Wolfensberg und seiner Besatzung heiße ich Sie sehr herzlich an Bord unseres Zürich. You can move the camera around. So from that video, many students went on to research airplanes, air travel, Switzerland. They were interested in the airline in the country, Switzerland. So all of these just make fabulous, fabulous um, type ones. There's even, um, these are great type ones as well to do whole group or send them to your kids or let the students find them on their own. This is a live webcam of a koala bear um, in the San Diego Zoo. Um, so all of these exciting things for students to find on their own and all of these match my profile. That's why they're so engaging to me and um, lend to further research and development um, because they are of interest to me. Brand new this year, those of you um, that had Renzuli last year, um, we've added in the last few months STEM and STEAM resources. So students that are interested in just about everything, right? Art, engineering, um, technology. These are some incredible websites. Uh, Make your drawing float. And all of these match my profile. Ooh, crack the code. Make a Caesar cipher. So again, um, you know, maybe a student, uh, a site was chosen for them because of the way they learn and they never even thought about a Caesar cipher, right? And they got, that was a very interesting um, concept to them. So they could do further investigative work if they wanted to do that. So again, each one of these are differentiated um, to provide the students opportunity to develop their talents through differentiation and enrichment. And um, all, as we go on, um, I will send some handouts that explain um, self-assessments is a great way to hold the students accountable on where they're going and what they're doing. They answer questions about the website that they visited they can add it to a project, to a type three, if it's something that went, wow, I need to do more investigative work. Let me add this to a project and start collecting data and information, which is what critical thinking and creativity training. So I'm gonna stop for translations and any questions that you might have focusing on um, my enrichment activities. Qui, allora, eh, la, la professoressa Toni si è fermata, se avete domande, come avete 
forse faccio un po' il punto. Come avete eh, visto, il, vi stiamo introducendo a Renzulli Learning System, avete visto il profilo no? che deriva da, da una serie di domande compilate dal bambino e poi, o dal ragazzo eh, e poi deriva un profilo proprio di questo bambino, di questo ragazzo, bambina e ragazza. E sulla base del profilo in automatico il Renzulli Learning System seleziona una serie di attività di arricchimento che sono specifiche per il, il suo profilo. L'attività di tipo 1 è una modalità per esplorare, per capire gli interessi eh, del bambino, del ragazzo, eccetera. Se avete domande... Eh... Perché poi per chi fa la sperimentazione nella prima settimana appunto è previsto eh, la, la sperimentazione dell'attività di tipo 1. Quindi eh, dovrete, eh, potrete insomma proporre il eh, profiler ai vostri bambini, ai vostri ragazzi e iniziare l'attività di tipo 1. Ovviamente sempre in linea con eh, le tematiche dell'inclusione, della diversità dell'equità, ecco, quindi aiutare un po' eh, certamente sulla base dei loro interessi, ma cercando un po' di guidare i, i ragazzi su queste tematiche. Great. I think no question. Yes, maybe one. Valentina Ciuffo. You can, you can speak in English directly. No worry. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Sorry. I'm, I'm having some difficulties with the internet, so that's why my camera is not on. No, I was just saying I'm really thrilled to be learning about this, and I don't have questions so far, but I'm really excited about this project, so thank you. You're welcome. I'm so excited to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank Lots you. of value to Renzulli learning. I've, my grandkids have been on it since they were four years old. So um, they really enjoy it. Um, and they've done some incredible um, things with it, you know, from raising butterflies to the Statue of Liberty and the Immigration Project. They did research on how to get sidewalks um, Uh, in a le so laid in our community because we don't have sidewalks that they can walk on from home to school. And now they just finished that project and they want to present it to um, the city council and to the board. Um, they have pictures of, of unsafe practices um, that students are um, when they walk to schools. So you just never know where Renzulli Learning is going to lead a student because it all is all based on school-wide enrichment and developing the students' individual talents. And all students, not just gifted and talented students, but all students. All right, um, there's other features of the student site that I will get into on our next two sessions. Um, when we dive into type twos and type threes, um, the main focus today is for ways for the students and the teachers to find type ones, um, topics for the students to um, explore um, and get engaged and interested in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over to the teacher site and I'm going to show you ways to look for type ones that you can present to your class. Um, one of the things that I love to do Um, when I taught first grade is we went to the media center every Thursday. And before the students went to the media center, I introduced them to a new topic. So I would do a type one every Thursday. And um, one of the ones we did was preparing a mummy for burial. So, you know, we had to take the brains out through the nose and They did the whole thing, the saline, the, and um, then when they went to the media center, what do you think they looked for? They looked for information on the type one that I had done before they went to the library. So um, that was how I, I used type ones um, in my classroom. Every Monday, I would present a type one to my students 
I'd find it on Renzulli Learning and then share it with the whole class. And that's the beauty of Renzulli Learning. If you have an account, even though your students may not be physically on Renzulli Learning, you still have access to all the uh, valuable resources that you can use with all of your students. All right, so I'm gonna go over to um, the teacher site and I'm going to accomplish that by going up to my name in the right hand corner where it says Tony and I'm going to click the uh, drop down arrow and I'm gonna go back to student our teacher site. All right, one way to find activities and I will share with you, um, I'll send it um, after this PD, um, some of my favorite searches where I find the best activities to do with kids. So um, in the teach tab on this, on the, um, on Renzulli Learning is the search engine. This is the search engine for the teacher. So it allows you to look for interesting and uh, grabbing, uh, grabbing videos or podcasts or um, projects. So I'm going to show you one, a couple of my favorite websites that I use for type ones. And um, Ology is all the rage with the kids now. They want to know all about biology, zoology, marine biologist. That is the big thing. And um, the um, American Museum of, Hi of Natural History have just um, put out these, um, this amazing website. This is a great way to introduce the students to a type one, which is ologies. As you can see there, you could do a different ology from this website every single day. Do a new ology to your, with your class. So let's see, let's go to um, anthropology. Look at this. And I love that it looks at the different ways kids learn. For example, some kids learn by playing games. Some kids learn by listening to stories. Some kids have to do hands-on and there's even videos. So here's um, Silk Road Fables. Look at this, just amazing. This site, I could spend, I think I could teach the whole school year this using Chinese this site. Tale, many wishes come true, but happiness is still hard to find. You can even, um, it'll show the transcript. On a hot summer day in ancient China, a stone cutter worked long and hard, swinging his hammer. On Oops. Let me go back. So every single one of these um, is a type one um, astronomy. And again, there are games. You could send your kids games to play, stories to listen to, hands-on activities that you can do for the final products and videos for them to watch. And look at all of this information that are all type twos critical thinking, creativity training, collecting data and information, all of these, make your own astronomy stationary. How cool would that be? You can download it. So that was definitely one of, um, oh, look at this, you can put, Well, you know I'm going to be using this site for um, for a uh, for a type one for um, for the class that I teach um, every every Thursday. So that's one of the searches. Now another thing that you can do is I would definitely use this whole group um, to introduce my kids to ologies and all the different ologies and what ology means, but I can share it. 
So the students that do have Renzulli Learning, I can check their names and I can click submit and that type one, that activity will be in two places for the student. It will be in their inbox. Um, they have an inbox where they collect their, their mail and it will automatically save it to their favorites. Um, another one of my favorite searches is the ology came from the American Museum of Natural History. But if you search it, you can find other type ones um, in the museum other than the ologies. So here's one that I really enjoyed, create a compass. And this is for kindergarten all the way to ninth grade. So it tells, um, you can read research. The Chinese invented the first compass more than 2000 years ago. Look at the difference. There's not a lot of difference, is there, between the Chinese first one and the modern day. That's amazing. It's not like te how technology changes, right? Um, it has a hands-on. Kids can make their own compass, what to do. It has pictures. But this is what I love about um, the museum is that on the bottom, it has opportunities for students to take deeper dives into this type one. So if they really enjoyed it and wanna know even more about magnets and volcanoes and tsunamis, um, how does that relate to the magnetic fields in our earth? Um, they can do research on that. So that's another one of my absolute favorites, searches. And I, again, I'm going to create a list um, for all of, all of you. Um, let me see if I can find Lab X. Those students, oh no, it's, um, maybe it's not X. What is it? Um, let me see. I will have to find that and send it to you. Um, it's a great math site for, um, for those that are really interested in math. Let me go over to my student site and see if I visit it there. That's what I love about Renzulli Learning. It remembers everything that you did. So I can go back to my student site and go to sites visited and see if it's there. And let me see, this is, wow, this is just today. I'll have to find it. It's a great type one for, um, for mathematics. And I'll find that and I'll make sure that I send it um, to you guys. I think guys. I saw it in that list. It's oh, you did? Lab X? Uh -huh. Uh-huh, yes. All right, well, let me go back. <laughs> I don't even like math. Math is like not my, um, not my thing, but it's amazing how much time I spend on this site because it's all interactive, it's hands-on, it's visual. All right, let's see if we can find it. Up oh, there it is. You rock. Thank you, Joyce. But this, um, this is also, um, <clears throat> you can see it's hosted by Harvard. And they're interactive um, simulations. So let's do multiply. And I like that the kids can pick their level. Uh, 
And then it gives them a visual um, of that. So it was called Lab X. Let me see if I can find it. Um, and if not, I'm gonna have to go back and change the keywords, ask them to change the keywords. So I'm gonna go back to the teach tab and I'm gonna choose the search engine because that's how I can search. There we go. So look at all of these incredible, um, and let's, you can even put in a grade level and filter out what you don't need. That's what I love about Renzulli Learning. It's so much easier than any other search engine. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, area builder. Let's see what that is. This would make a great type one in math. Um, that's another uh, thing my, we're working on. My grandkids and I are building a tiny house and it's um, application using perimeter and area. And I actually use this site um, for my grandkids for them to review what area um, how the area and perimeter of a, of a, um, of a object. So when again, you can share these with your kids or use them whole group, small group. All right, and I found these by going to the teach tab and to the teacher search engine. All right, I'm going to ask um, for questions, if you, I think I saw one that I could read that was in English. Yes, Tony, Chiara has a question for you, but it's in English. And yes. Chiara, of course, you can speak in English. <laughs> um, yes, um, students will not be used, every student that um, has been enrolled in Renzulli Learning has their own account. It's only the teachers that have a teacher and a student account. Students have their own account. They log in into their own account and, um, and they take their profiles in their own account. Any other questions? Uh, I'm Chiara. Um, may I ask you something about how to use the Renzulli system um, uh, for the research you're doing? Um, we, how, how can we guide the students uh, to search for um, inclusion and diversity activities? Um, they is have there a guide we need to to follow, or is it they have the student? A, you can do searches on diversity inclusion, or they can. So okay. I'm I went back to the student site. I'll demonstrate okay. that for the student, and then I'll demonstrate it from the teacher's perspective. Okay. So they up here at the top, you'll see a search engine, a magnifying glass. And if I click that on, it will bring up the student's differentiated search engine. So if I type in, um, let's say diversity, and I click search, it will bring up the activities focusing on diversity that match my profile. So I can see that I have 24 online activities, 11 critical thinking, Birmingham civil rights, calculating the poverty line, food facts from around the world. So all of these match my profile. But let's say for example, I'm a student and I want even more information on diversity than what just matches my profile. So I can go back to the search engine. And I can change 
search my own enrichment activities, those are the ones that match my profile to search Renzulli's entire database, which is over 55,000 activities. Now notice now how many more activities I have on diversity than I did when I checked. But I tell kids to always search their own enrichment activities because they'll be more engaging um, than, they, than they would to search all. But some kids just want more and that's the way to be able to do that. And I can go back to my search engine Type in inclusion and search, and it is going to bring up the activities that are aligned to my profile. Kids co coping with cl uh, clicks, how clicks make kids feel left out, Olympic women, responding to everyday bigotry. There's an ebook, Dream Days, a collection of children's fiction reminiscing of childhood. So all of these are focusing on inclusion. So that's how the student would search those topics. I'm gonna go back to the teacher site and the teacher will search the same way. So I will go to the teach tab and go down to search. And I'll type in inclusion. I can even choose my grade level. What grade if I'm teaching middle, middle school, high school, click search and it will bring up the results that match my filters. And if I do six to nine, 10 to 12, it will bring up the activities on inclusion for those grades as well. If I search diversity and click search, it will bring up the results So here's um, academic of achieve, achievement. This is an this is another amazing website. It's one of my favorites, the Academy of Achievement. Um, I love it because it has videos, it has interviews, it has podcasts, it has all different uh, ways for the students to receive um, their information, not just reading not just watching movies, but a variety of ways um, to do that. So hopefully, um, if I, that is um, probably one that I would share with my students. So um, after I opened it, I would click the share button, choose the students that I want this to go to and check all and then click submit, and then it will send that in, uh, diversity website or activity to my students. And those would make a great type one. And if you're already studying it, it would be a type two, right? Because they'll have to use creativity and critical thinking to gather more information and collect their research and data. So hopefully, did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Tony. That was exactly my question. All right. Another thing you can do too is we're going to get into this um, on our last session is type threes. But just to show you, um, you can actually go to projects. And if you're looking for diversity, this is something um, I like to do. I use, I, I not only use 
these for type threes, I use it for lesson, plan lesson planning. So I'm gonna to go to super starter projects because these are the ones that are already completed. And on my computer, I'm gonna do a control find. And I'm gonna type in diversity. Whoops, I have to spell it right. And wow, there is a lot in the projects on diversity. Here's one on, a, on um, Africa. Now it's not working, what happened? But, um, and again, I will create a list for you of our projects and our assignments for type, when we do type threes um, that are focusing on inclusion and diversity. That was a great question, thank you. Any other questions or translations that we need to do? Uh, I, sh I, I would have a question, may I? Oh, absolutely. Hello everybody, hello Tony and everybody. Uh, this is really great and fantastic and could be really a new way of teaching and um, learning for students, both for students and teachers. I'm really amazing. It's really, I'm really touched. Just a question in order to, to get an idea about the contents we can have also in Italy, how much we can spend it and use it in Italian. Can you just show us uh, a research on Italian just to get an idea about this? That is a great question, and I know that Connie can supply that. Um, you have a teacher in um, Laura Milan. She lives in Italy, and she works with Dr. Joe Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese. She has SEM in her school district, and she has translated so much of her work um, from, from English to Italian. So I sent all of those resources last year and Connie Phelps would be able to share that material with you, all of that research and data. Fantastic, just because so we can get an idea about how we can use practical with our students here. Right, Ab really great. absolutely. Let me see if I have it. I don't know if I have that handy. Um, whoops. Yeah, I'll have to find that for you. Um, and I know Connie may have it at her fingertips, um, but she is in plus, um, if you are in Italy, Connie can give you her contact information, um, you know, and you can, you can talk to her as well. Okay. Any other questions or translations? Avete altre domande? No, nothing. Nope, okay. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to see, um, whoops, oh, I'm frozen. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to close my camera because my screen is frozen, see if that will free it up. So I'm gonna, um, there we go. Let's see. No. Oh, yes. Let's see. Maybe I have too many windows open. Let's see. Nope, I am frozen. Wow. Did I lose internet? No, I do not know what happened. Um, here, oh, there we go. And, well, let 
Wow, that's so weird. I'm not used to Renzulli being doing this. It might be my internet. Let's see if I can get it to. But we offer, I wanted to show you that we offer the site in, um, in various languages. I don't think Italian um, is one of them, but if that's something that you are truly interested in, we certainly could get a team of, there we go. Right now, the site um, is available in um, Arabic, Chinese, German, Portuguese. So if this something, if you have a lot of teachers and students that are interested in Renzulli learning, just reach out to me um, and we'll see about getting our site translated um, in Italian, which would be, which would be very, we just finished Chinese. Um, and I think they're working on Korean now. We have a group here in the United States from Korea that is going to launch school-wide enrichment model to their gifted and talented students in Korea. So they're working on Korean now. Any other questions that you might have regarding type ones? Avete altre domande? Or maybe if you want to share some idea or opinion, feel free. Se volete condividere idee o opinioni, sentitevi liberi di farlo in inglese o in italiano, come volete. All right. Yep. May I ask you something, Tony? I'm Chiara. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on the first meeting with the with the kid, we just do the profile and then we have the activities, the enrichment activities. That is correct. Okay. So that's the first step. The first... Okay. So um, then we have the second, um, the, the second one when we have to record the uh, results of the, ki uh, the kid or the research of the kid, the kid has made. So the kid has to have some time on himself, by himself to research the activities, the resources. Is there, um, is there an input you give us to um, between the two, or is it just up to the kid? Um, no, I mean, they can do self-assessments, um, okay. on the sites that they, um, that they research. I don't know why this is doing this. Um, they can do self-assessments. Okay. They can write in their journal. Perfect. Okay. And there's notes. They have an area to take notes if they want to take notes. Okay. Let me see if I can get this to. So it's it's up to the to the kids' learning style also. There is nothing. Right. Uh, Every, everything great. matches. Yes. Okay. Well, it's not Renzulli. It must be my internet because now I can't. <laughs> yes. That's why I don't have the video on. I'm sorry. I wow. have the same problem. That is so. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Let's see. The authoring tool is working. I do not know what I did, but I cannot get my. Well, let's try Safari. Okay, allora un po' I resume a little bit 
for the Italian. So, uh, nel prossimo incontro, nel primo incontro che avrete con, uh, con i bambini, con i ragazzi, per chi vorrà sperimentare, potete uh, proporre il profiler. Profiler è in italiano ai vostri ragazzi. E, um, dopodiché, quando loro appena terminano il profilo, da lì possono iniziare, potete iniziare con loro a esplorare un po' le attività che riguarda l'attività di tipo 1. Dal primo al secondo incontro ovviamente i bambini e i ragazzi possono continuare in autonomia ed era forse questo quello che, che Chiara chiedeva, possono continuare in autonomia, esatto, esatto, sì. a, eh, ho capito, a continuare, eh, continuare l'attività. Nel secondo incontro dove vi chiediamo di videoregistrare non è obbligatorio, se volete però ci farebbe piacere. Nel secondo incontro i bambini e i ragazzi mostrano a voi ma anche agli altri pari perché potete farlo anche in piccolo gruppo cosa la loro attività di tipo 1 quindi cosa hanno eh, esplorato cosa per esempio di tutte le attività che riguardano l'inclusione o la diversità o l'equità a loro cosa ha colpito di più perché poi si preparano all'attività di tipo 2. Ok. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to point out that on the student site, if you look right here, the student has a journal. And I love this journal because the students can keep their research in their journals. And then the teacher from the teacher site can not only read what the students um, have written, um, focusing on their research, but if they, I go to my live student ticker, I can even comment back to the student in their journal. So I want to look at um, the activity, the journal activity. So from the drop down menu, I'm going to choose journal. And notice that Marley wrote a paragraph, an essay on why she does not like I ready. And then I commented back to Marley. Notice the little apple in front of that. So that's a great what place until you start projects. That's a great place for students to do, um, put their research notes because it's easy to find their research and writing and it's easy to reply back to them and give them some positive input. Hopefully that answered your question. All right, well, I want to be mindful of your time. I see that um, I see that it's after uh, one o'clock or here or two o'clock here, one o'clock where some of you are and some of you way ahead of us, your day later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for taking the time to join me. I really appreciate it. I always enjoy these sessions with all of you. And if you have any questions, Um, I am going to put my email in the chat. Um, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy um, to answer any questions that you may have. And um, I look forward to our next se session that will be focusing on type twos. Oops. Thank you very much, Tony. We give you all a, a virtual round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, you will be back with us on November 16th for type two and on November 30th for type three. And uh, we're just walking through Renzulli's enrichment triad model. Well, thank you. Have be fun. Sure. Don't let it stress you out. There's no written rules about Renzulli learn it, learning. Yeah. Use it the way that best meets your needs, not my needs. Yes, you do as much. Yep. It are as much of it as you want. That's right. That's right. <laughs> on, on students. Uh, on Thursday, November 11th, we will have with us Audrey Warrington, and she will be talking about Appalachia. Audrey, do you want to say, give a few words about that presentation Wednesday at noon? I'm sorry, Thursday at noon. Yeah, so it'll be on Thursday, and um, <clears throat> it's kind of just my take on the diversity and um, the United States because I went on a mission trip in Eastern um, uh, Tennessee. And so it's just about the people that live there, what I experienced and uh, tying it into our lecture series. Fantastic, addressing all the dimensions of diversity. 
Again, thank you very much, our Italian educators, our American educators. Tony, we appreciate you. We'll see everybody again on Thursday, November 11th. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, all. Thank you. Arrivederci. Grazie a tutti. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, uh, Joyce. Thank you, Dre. Thank you. Tony. Thank you, Martina. Thank you, Audrey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot. It was great. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you for coming. Martina, nice job. Are you going to continue or are we done? I think we're done. Okay. I'll go ahead yeah. and close. You can go ahead and leave. I'll make sure I close the meeting here too. Okay. Thanks so much, Martina. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank we're, you. We're stopped Bye. in traffic, right? We're stopped in traffic. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. 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 Bye, Joyce. Bye. 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 I, I close. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. you. Let's close.